What's up guys? Hello, Drendel here, and it's Thursday, July 2nd. Time for another Naruto review. Well, I just got back from work, and I decided to go ahead and read the chapter. I was going to read it this morning, but I decided, you know what? What the hell? I'll read it when I got back. And... <laughs> holy... Holy hell. Okay. I'll just put it this way. If you guys remember my last review slash live read, I ended up, you know, it was left on a bit of a, I want to say a cliffhanger because, you know, because the title of my last video, it said, like mother, like daughter, you know, pretty much because she did, you know, did an attack that was similar to Sakura's when, you know, when Sakura had trained under Tsunade. Now, okay. I'll be honest, I was expecting an all-out fight, practically, between, you know, with Chocho, Sarada, Sakura, Sasuke, Naruto, against pretty much any and all of those clone shins. Nope. Sarada lays out a whole bunch of them with her attack, and then, I guess, one, one uh, shin had... I can't, don't even know what the weapon was called, tries to attack, ends up getting stopped in his tracks, and the Shin is able to see Karama. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know what to think of it, honestly. I don't know if I want to say it. Alright, you know what? Before I even jump to that. So... Pretty much about a couple pages into the whole thing, you know. Then um, the Shin sees the Karama, Karama inside Naruto. Naruto's like, don't worry, he won't bite. But if you want to cross that bridge, all bets are off. You know, his usual shtick. Uh, but um, so they just, they're trying to figure out, okay, what do we want to do with these, you know, with, uh, with all these Shin clones? Naruto decides to take them... Um, and I got the chapter up here. God, I, I hate me forgetting that spot. This is like an institution, as he he called it an institution. I'm guessing it's an academy, a secondary secondary academy. I swear to God, I don't know. Ugh. But um, so either so I'll go ahead and um. So they, they just they decide, you know, they're gonna turn bring him to the academy, he run by his headmaster. All I gotta say is now we know where Kabuto is. The, for those of you who hadn't read the Naruto manga, or maybe you some who didn't watch some of the anime, Kabuto, as a lot some people may have know, may know, he was a uh, kind of a the right hand man in Naruto the right hand man of Orochimaru and then during a, a part in Shippuden where Sasuke I guess killed Orochimaru in his serpent form or whatever you want to call it Kabuto was able to put that within himself he also had trained under the white snake sage so he has sage power along with Orochimaru's if you want to Put it like that. He's the headmaster of this institution, academy, that Naruto was talking about. All I gotta say is, nice swerve, Kishimoto. How, yeah, but at the same time, and I'm gonna explain to you why I think this. Kabuto was on in, on the bingo book. L ranked lower than Sasuke in the, in the bingo book. Which I guess is their wanted list. I'll just call it a wanted list. But uh, then again, you know, they let Sasuke come back. So I guess it's a whole... Don't be surprised. So, with that being said, they, they, take, they take in all the, all the Shin clones. They talk about trying to give them a name. Each of them a name. And the guy that's standing right next to... Or next to Kabuto or... or Behind him, it's hard to tell with this picture. 
I swear to God, I'm trying to remember his freaking name. Urushi, I believe. He was one of the kids that found Kabuto. He was one of the kids from the orphanage. So apparently, and I don't know if this is if this is in the Leaf Village. I want to. I'm gonna guess it is. I mean, it's really kind of hard to tell. But give the scene before that. I'm good. We're, I'm gonna just assume that it's either the orphanage being built up. Or it's somewhere in the, the Leaf Village, or some other village. I don't know. Judging by how Naruto had talked, and the scenery here, my guess. Although I do love that pi this picture, though, whenever they're talking about giving each individual a name, and the big shins just lay looks like he's laying down, kind of like, okay, I can't go into this building, what do I do? <laughs> really, cl Really nice. So, Chocho -cho then sees her real dad and surprisingly doesn't recognize him only because Choji, if you guys remember Naruto, and I don't know if he used this in Shippuden, when he fought Jirobo, the master of the Earth style, or Earth style, Earth style ninja, or something like that. He used had used pe a pellet, the th the last pellet that put him in. That he was a chubby form, and then he went all thin, like kind of thin down. So apparently, this is the first time Chocho has seen her dad in that form. And she, and then she's like, "Oh my God, I want to learn this like right now, starting tomorrow." Uh She's so crazy. But uh, Sarada gets a, gets a pretty good laugh out of it. Sarada has found some purpose for herself, given this mis the mission they did. Eno, you know, got that fetish for Sasuke, apparently, because she's, like, going all crazy. He's like, Sasuke, oh my god, it's been so long. And... Yeah... It's it's funny how Sarada step pretty much steps in between Sasuke and Eno, and she's and Eno's like, "What's wrong?" And Sakura can't stop laughing. But you know, so Sasuke spends a night and I guess part of the day with Sakura and Sarada. Sarada's happy, so you know she gets to spend some quality time. And even though, and then he goes to leave again, and she and Sarah does upset because she, I'm sure she wants her father to stay. Say, I'm gonna call her Sarah. Oh my god, Sarah, da, Sarah. You know what, Sarah for short. Screw it again. She's not happy about him leaving, but he gives her a hug, and say, he says he doesn't like the I don't like the that expression on your face. It's the one where she's sad. And he says, until next time, and does a little finger, little tap on the forehead. Itachi-esque. And she, te she tears up, but, and she smiles. And so she's happy. And then <laughs> he kind of blows off Sakura. I don't know. Are they freaking... Well, apparently they're married, and yet he still has the whole I'm gonna be off now, and she, he blew me off again, and she's apparently upset, but he's walking away, but he's smiling. He smiles. Uh, so, so at the end of this, um, I don't know if this kid's name is really Boruto or Bolt, but uh, Naruto's son says... You know, this, I'm gonna go through the little dialogue here. He pretty much well. He pretty much thanks Sarah for delivering the lunchbox for him to his father, and she says, "I should be th pretty much. I should be thanking you. It was thanks to that I was able to find out what I wanted to do." So, and he's like, "What's that? Delivering lunchboxes isn't really a realistic goal. I want to become Hokage." And he's like, "That's weak." Pretty much, he thinks it's stupid that she wants to be a Kamokage. Okay, now the next part, and this one I got the biggest laugh out of. 
Karin apparently finds out that Suigetsu got into the stuff. Pretty much. She's the one. Alright, I'll go. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to read this whole thing. I'm just going to summarize what Karin just says to freaking. Uh, 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 excuse me. This, this, the more I wa look at this, the more I want to laugh. Karine explains practically that Sarah is really Sakura and Sasuke's child. But she, as in Karine, delivered Sarah. So Suigetsu's like, so the umbilical cord, and Karine says, yes, it's Sarada and Sakura's. Sakura didn't want to leave Sasuke. And apparently, and Sakura didn't want to leave Sasuke's side while they were on the mission. So she gave birth to Sarada, or Sarah, at, their hi at the hideout. And Karin's the one that delivered Sarah. So Sweet Getsu, and then Sweet Getsu... One of his pulls the old smart ass. I mean, you were swinging off of Sasuke's with the Sasuke this and the Sasuke that. <laughs> Karine calls him a dick for brains and says that she doesn't care as long as Sasuke is happy. And explains that there that she pretty much view is considers Sakura her friend. So Suigetsu is like, are you saying that you're completely over Sakura? Or not Sakura. My freaking god. Are you telling me, Karin, that you're over Sasuke? <laughs> and she goes silent. And she's like, It's like talking to a wall. Bonds, connections, they come in all kinds of forms. <laughs> and... Pretty much, she tells him, Spaghetti, you get a, gonna apologize to Sarah while you're at it. Give her a new pair of glasses. She's out. She's probably outgrown her last pair. Now, apparently, I don't know if this spinoff is just for the ten chapters. Well, and the reason I say that is because Kishimoto puts this, my beloved readers. Thank you for your encouragement and support. Jump Comics go on sale fr Friday, August 4th. The story of the epilogue to this, Boruto Naruto the movie, premieres Friday, August 7th. Now, what the fuck? And I say what the fuck for the following reason. Goes on sale Friday, August 4th. Movie premieres Friday, August 7th. Kishi, you got some typos, buddy. Just saying. Now, it the the whole Shin clone swerve, turn, sending him to the institute, and you know with him be, having the uh, Sharingan and whatnot. I don't know what this means. Will we see the rebirth of the Uchiha clan? Will we see, or you know, the restoration? Will we see, you know, I don't know. It's interesting. I actually like this. While it was not what I expected, it was an interesting outcome. So, overall, you know, I'll get I'll give this this chapter on a, on a on my rating scale of one to five. I'm gonna give it a four point five out of five. Reason being, like I said, it didn't go the way I expected it to. But it had a nice cliff, good, a good, decent ending. The the pretty much the complete chew out Sweet Getsu is subjected to by Karin, and then the some of the the banter between I'm gonna just call whether it's Boruto Bolt I don't care hit between Naruto son and Sarah that was pretty in, an in, interesting back and forth. I actually like this, and you know and. Sasuke shows a sign of Itachi within him with the whole, you know, the forehead tap. Although he's showing it more and more. 
And then seeing Kabuto. Well, at least he's doing something good with his time. Although, and like I said, I don't know where that place is. It's either in the village, or in, or or hey, the orphanage could have relocated. I don't know. I mean, it's it's rather interesting. So, like I said, I'm gonna give this a four point five out of five. I thought it was a great chapter. It, not the way I expected it to go, but considering that, hey, nothing wrong with that to me. It's my opinion. You guys can have your own. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the um, not this i'm gonna put the chapter in the description box down below um i hope you guys enjoyed this review slash reaction detail explanation however you want to call this so just uh like i said feel free to drop a like feel free to subscribe for more content if you want to uh, i'm go gonna be doing more of these i'm actually debating on doing other mangas as i've said before in a couple of my videos if you guys want to, feel free to, in the comment section, um, type in any manga you would like for me to start, you know, tr start reading, reviewing. I mean, there's, um, or heck, if you want to read some of the older ones, you know, or, like, if you want to do re reviews of the original 700 Naruto chapters, you can. You can, you guys, just whatever you would like me to read and review, leave it in the comment section below. I'll go ahead and have the, the chapter that I read here. I'll have that in the description for those of you who haven't read it. I hope you guys have a good Thursday, and I hope you guys have a great 4th of July this coming Saturday. Or for those of you who are not in the U.S., I hope you guys have a great weekend. And, well, that's pretty much a wrap. I hope you guys have a great day, great weekend, and keep it real.